Hør ved. Hør ved. Åh, den baby lader mig. Hør ved. Åh, der er ikke lige den fæng. Ja, det er min måde. Åh, eller er jeg bare en fræd? Åh! They will make their way across. Like I said, they have got fairly sharp claws, and they're very good at digging. In the wild, most of their food would be found in the ground, and they mostly eat bugs. So they have to be very good at digging. And they can dig their own way in seconds. Last as long as possible, so that they're around as possible. Do you know there's some up here? Ah! Some up here? Oh, oh, oh. Where are you taking me? Yeah. Where are you taking me? Yeah. Oh, what's the point of the puncher? Oh, no! Oh, what's it doing? <laughs> so this one that's on your lap here is Stumpy. She's got a stumpy tail. This Ooh. one here. And she's the boss of the beer cats. Hey, I got a boss. Who's the weakest one? There isn't really a weakest one as such. There is a, one of these will be the alpha male as well, which obviously is like the equivalent ah. of her husband, if you like. Ah. Um, but two of these will actually be Stumpy's young from last year. And they're probably the bottom of the pack, if you like, because they're the youngest. And um, they're just about coming up 12 months. They're just about fully grown now. So basically all the others are fully grown adult meerkats and they don't get any bigger. People always say they look bigger on TV, but as somebody else pointed out, so does a big man. Oh, oh, okay. I've got, I've got fear worms. Are they purring or something? Yeah, they're not actually cats, of course, at all. They are actually related to mongoose. We have actually got banded mongoose as well down the bottom of the zoo. And they are part of the oh, mongoose family. Lots of different species of mongoose. What's a mongoose again? The mongoose, they, they look like these. Have a look on the way down, they're just the last enclosure on the left. They look a bit like these. But meerkats are part of the mongoose family. But um, uh, lots of different uh, species of mongoose, but only one species of meerkat. So any meerkat that you see on TV or in any other zoo are all the same species. Uh, is that the one with the is stumpy? That one there, because you've got a weird. Stumpy's the one with the stumpy tail. Yeah. Now meerkats can live about up to the age of twelve, um, but more uh, commonly they live uh, to the age of nine. Uh, and st Oh, and Stumpy is in fact nine now, so she's the little old lady maker. Was she the first one here? Um, they all pretty much came here together, um, obviously other than her young, which were born last year. But this particular area has only been open a couple of years anyway, so they would have come in as a group. Where do they live again? They come from the Kalahari Desert. And they live in underground burrows, so it's another reason why they have to have sharp claws, they dig underground burrows. Um, here they don't actually have to dig their own burrows, we supply a burrow for them. And the holes in the wall that you saw when you came in, there's two. The one on the left goes into the inside of the meerkats, which you can see if you walk through the Reptile River. And the one on the right actually goes into the porcupines, which again you can see if you go down Reptile River. Now porcupines are mostly nocturnal, so they tend to come out at night, and the meerkats are used as space during the day. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, what's that? It's a bug. Oh. They don't oh, no. care, they'll eat it anyway. They eat any bugs, what, what, whatever bug it is. Yeah, they love bugs. Now, we don't just feed them bugs, we do give them fruit and vegetables in the mornings, because it's good for them. And we awesome. give them mealworms in the, you know, in the afternoons, and then in, the, in the evenings. In the evenings, we give them meat. Meat. Mm. So they do eat meat? They do eat meat. So they are all the I mean, mealworms are sort of meat. Why is the one there? What kills them the most, like, in the wild? Just, like, the main predator? Get off! Oh, it's gonna go down What's there. the main predator that kills them? The main predator, probably birds of prey, like eagles, um, possibly snakes oh, as well. Oh, stop digging there. Oh, I don't dig there. <laughs> Obviously, oh, while we're here, oh, oh. Um, they don't really have any predators. Oh. And they certainly don't have any predators in the zoo. They're not bothered by us being here, they're quite happy to climb on you. They just think you're a rock or a tree trunk or something like that at the moment. Um, in here they do think that planes are birds of prey. Um, so when you see a plane you'll see them all looking up at the sky and they'll be making the barking noises that's the equivalent of shouting eagle. And all their tails will go up to indicate danger and then they'll all run and hide. Hello. And in the wild they'd probably have a different call for snake and instead of hiding they'd probably gang up on it and eat it for dinner. 
Oh, is that when the, is that why one always stands on the rock? Yes, one is always standing on the rock, acting as the lookout. Although, just to prove me wrong, when the weather's really, really hot, um, they don't tend to do that, and they tend to just spend most of the time under the rocks where it's nice and cool. Oh, I'll just elbow them. <laughs> what happens if you stroke them? They don't really like it. They might bite you. Oh. And part of the reason why we don't stroke them is they're a very sociable animal. And I'm in here usually four times a day. And uh, if I stroke them, they would soon treat me as part of their meerkat clan, which would be lovely for me. However, if I brought anybody else in, you would be the enemy clan and they would immediately bite you. And the problem is, because they're a non-domestic species, you can't teach them not to bite like you can your cat or dog. So to be fair to everybody, we, um, nobody, nobody strokes them, nobody strokes them. No way it came in at all. Not, not, you say you not like this or not? Yeah. Oh, look at this, look at this big daddy oh, lovely little paw, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the little paw. Hello. Hello, little bird. Yeah, the little bird, he likes to come in and get the occasional mealworm. Uh, the meat cuts aren't really bothered by the birds, they just come and go. So do take loads of pictures by all means because the um, chance of getting one in focus is quite small. You got one in focus. I, really I, I, I got a really good one on that one when he was on the rock. You went, oh, you went. I know, I just went. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. I've been wanting to be shoe. Yeah, same. So we are running low on mealworms now, and like I said, you'll see as we run out of mealworms, the meerkats will lose interest and they'll go off to do other meerkat type things. But what do they usually do? Well, they'll fun? do a bit of digging, they'll do a bit of lying about in the sun, they'll be acting as lookout, they might be doing a bit of foraging about. Do they, do they like fight, like play fight? They do play fight occasionally, yeah. Oh. So this, this um, dust, if you like, that's coming out of mealworms, it's actually bran. It's what we feed the mealworms on, so it's nothing to worry about. Is that, like, is that what they put like, mealworms in? Yeah, we feed the mealworms on bran. So that's it, so we're out of mealworms now. So you'll see that they'll um, start to lose interest. Oh, now, oh, if oh. you've seen, they probably um, they look all very similar. Well, I've got one there. there you go. And the way mm. we identify them is to microchip them, like you might chip a cat or dog. But if you look um, hard enough, you will see slight differences. They've all got slight different faces, and they've all got an individual coat pattern. But it's so complicated that we can't identify them individually.